Hello everyone and welcome to Pi Alien Life. This is Otaku Showboat and today we will be discussing the changes made to Red Science. If you have been enjoying the tutorials thus far, please do not forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help make this series appear higher up in YouTube search results. You can do all of the social stuff through the links in the description below the video, including supporting Pyandot's monster development at patreon.com slash pyandon, and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. So, lots of changes were made to Red Science, uh, in particular with Pi Alien Life. All of the sciences essentially have in some way been touched by Alien Life, not as much towards the end as the beginning though so red science looks completely different as does green but you may be wondering this 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 is the red science that we have come to know and love quotes on love uh in the pie suite thus far we have red science being made out of glassware and substrate. Well, glassware is now different in that it now requires rubber stoppers as well as glass to make the glassware. Uh, and it's two rubber stoppers per unit glass. Uh, and I'm realizing I've already I've already missed the uh, the final the final step here on uh, on the uh, rubber stoppers, the final two steps actually on the rubber stoppers, so we'll get to keep building and placing buildings after this. The substrate has also changed dramatically. It is no longer Falgi uh, for your basic substrate. It is cellulose, incubated petri dishes, and moss. So buckle up we've got quite a few things to uh, talk about. Now the rubber stop which actually isn't called rubber, it's a uh, stopper, uh, is made in an assembling machine, and that is the pulp mill. So let me just real quick here find the pulp mill, if I can remember which thingy the pulp mill is under. There we go. Uh, so the pulp mill will be the late tax and then a standard assembling machine to make the stoppers okay now i think we're good so we'll st i guess we'll start with the uh rubber stoppers here uh so the rubber stoppers are going to be coal and latex latex is going to be latex slabs and steam latex slabs require sodium alginate, creamy latex, and formic acid. Now, creamy latex is going to be limestone, saps, and water. The saps will come from a sap extractor. This is just power and buildings. Just don't, you don't have to worry about these. You can place as many as you want locally, wherever you want them to make the creamy latex. And then limestone is just soil extractors with water to make the uh, limestone. So creamy latex, this is this is easy part. This is easy part. The uh, the sodium alginate is going to be stone, limestone, seaweed, and water. Now seaweed, you can make it just out of water. It's a gigantic building uh, for it. And there's various recipes that you get access to later on down the line, but in particular, one of the one of the best ones uh, early on is the limestone water recipe. Once you once you have access to limestone water uh, for seaweed, that's the one you're going to stick with for a little while. Uh, so that that will be your sodium alginate. The formic acid is going to be iron, wa copper, water, and carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide is going to come from coke directly. Uh, in the early game, so definitely bear all of this in mind as we continue. And that's that's going to be the latex, the latex 
All of that for latex, just to make the rubber stoppers to make the glassware. On the other side of things, we need cellulose, which is going to be wood and limestone. Bear in mind that you cannot automate your wood until you actually have red science text to unlock all of the buildings associated with making wood. Wood is one of those exceptions currently to the cr new creature slash life mechanics in that you do not need to add trees as modules. You do not have trees as modules for your fast wood forestries. That's one key exception <laughs> currently. However, it does follow a slightly different chain in that you make saplings from seeds from wood and the saplings will make your logs in the end. You'll need saplings for all of the various log recipes, which, uh, yeah, give you better outputs now uh, as you increase uh, in uh, complexity on the recipes. Uh, and then, of course, logs into wood uh, in the end. But you can't do this when you're first starting the game because you... You need red science to get access to all of these buildings first. So you will need to manually make the wood for the cellulose. Manually manually uh, chop down trees to get the wood for your cellulose here. Uh, and for your initial circuits and all of that beautiful stuff. The incubated petri dishes... Well, they are actually made out of petri dishes in a special microorganism mine. Uh, this is just a building. It will operate just like the sap extractor. Uh, you just have to throw petri dishes in. Petri dishes are made out of agar and empty dishes. The empty dishes are just glass. The agar is seaweed and steam. Well, we already looked at seaweed up here, so we've got those from latex as well uh so that will be the uh the, the, the dishes and then you need moss and then uh, there was moss moss also by the way required to make wood seedlings always required to make wood seedling seedlings uh along with the seeds uh, and the water so moss is actually quite important and moss is going to consume more carbon dioxide so you need the coke in the early game, there there are other ways of getting the CO2, but you do need the coke to make CO2. Ah, what, what does this all mean? It's all glorious things, and I think something here requires aluminium. What was it? What is it again? There's, there's something here. I have to actually look. There's something early that requires aluminium as well. I just have to find it. If it's not the microorganism, is it the seaweed or is it the moss? It is the moss. So the moss farms require aluminium plates. Uh, so this is new. You now have to mine aluminium to even make your first handcrafted red science, uh, which means that when you set up a destructive distillation column to convert coal into coke for you, you'll end up with some small amounts of tar and coal gas. You will now need to pipe that coal gas to mine and process some aluminium plates uh, to make your first moss farms. Uh, the tar currently I don't think has that much of a use for it. You're just going to store it slash void it uh, for the moment that may eventually change but now now there's a purpose for using the coal gas in the early game before you have the ability to uh, properly uh, void the tar in that process you've thus far you've had to void that coal gas in the early game now you have to uh, actually use it for the aluminium uh, through the uh, moss farm so that is that i think where's uh yeah so seaweed also tin so you're going to need aluminium set up you're going to need tin set up you're going to need glass set up you're going to need iron and copper and all of 
all the all the all the wonderful wonderful things and you can't even you can't even automate this until after you've set up and gotten some initial red science to unlock the really large number of techs you you need a, a like hundreds of units of red science now actually uh, over over uh, well over a hundred units of red science now before you can properly automate the uh, wood production uh, going into this so yeah that's red science say hello to the new red science this uh of course this is not the like full logistic setup of the red science uh, if you want to see this in practice on a fresh playthrough uh, you can refer to the uh, Paidu Valley uh, stream save, uh, the VODs of which are also on my YouTube channel right now. You can you can just search my channel, Paidu Valley. It's a full playlist. We are currently going on two weeks of uh, videos, worth of videos, 14 videos. It's been, it's been more than two weeks, but three streams a week. Uh, 14th stream coming soon. Uh, after this particular recording of this video, but uh, yeah, Red Science just referred to the first few uh, stream days. It's stream days. There's lots. It's like about five-ish VOD videos per stream day. Um, starts off with uh, just discussions of changes, uh, and then we actually get into start. We start playing, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll. I show what an initial base looks like before you have the red science, and then I go and I will eventually, I eventually set it this up so we can see what it looks like when, uh, when you have an initial bus set up and this is all uh, fully automated, so you sort of can watch that progression early game into the, uh, into the automation phase. Uh, by going to the stream save and looking at that. Uh, this is your general overview of what has been changed with Red Science, as well as the uh, the notes that you will need aluminium now, uh, by comparison to pre-Alien Life. Uh, and it's it's a lot it's a lot of stuff that you won't be able to actually fully automate quite yet. You'll be able to automate everything but the wood. Uh, and you have to do all of this without splitters and undergrounds if you want to automate. That's the other, that's the other thing to note. You will not have splitters and undergrounds. And, and, and this is what you need to set up to get your first red science. Um, good luck! You can, you can refer to my stream save to get an idea. Uh, just one thing to note is you can absolutely do makeshift splitters. This, this, this will save you. This, this will save you a lot of pain and suffering, uh, in your logistics when you don't have access to splitters yet. Uh, just inserters from one belt to another belt will will help dramatically uh, in the early game. That 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 is my one good piece of advice that was told to me by a person on a stream. Who uh, I'm sorry, but the the name now escapes me uh, of that person. But it was suggested on the stream uh, one time uh, to do that, and I was like. Yeah, you can totally do that. That that that's a that's a great idea. That will that saves a lot of pain and suffering because that means that you essentially have splitters uh, by using inserters. Uh, so you just have to do it without undergrounds, which can be the bigger pain. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Showboat. If you have enjoyed this tutorial and this series thus far, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined. Head on down to the description below and do all the social stuff down in there. You can, of course, support Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyanodon and myself at patreon.com slash And I will see you on the next one.